once again, great job for uh, modern performance. Um, we had just ordered in some coilovers. This is the kit with the rear camber plates. I wanted to try the set of the inverted, um, but uh, I got a little rushed. Uh, so I called back and changed my order and I actually bought this standard BR series with the camber plates so that we can get them installed on this car. Because we gotta have the thing move, we're gonna put a motor in it, right? All right, let's get this cut open. Let's see what's inside the box. Guess what? There is another box inside the box. This one here is not taped shut. All right, here we go. Let's open this up. First time for me, first time for you. All right, this is what we're seeing. Okay. Uh, we've got our instructions here. Let's see what's in here. We got a nice set of stickers. Um, what else? It's like a little pamphlet book here tells you about different coils um, the product warranty uh, I guess you got to send that in um, thank you for purchasing um, I guess it goes in to show tell you about the adjustments and all the other good stuff that goes along with that there so let's just stick this back in flatten this thing out set that off to the side because we really want to see what's down inside here. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Man, do they look good. Hmm. All right, so that's exactly how a set of brand new coilovers come for the SRT4 Neon here, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like how the peanuts are in these separate bags. If you've ever played with them? They definitely make a mess. All right. That is a right rear. And there is the camera plate for the rear. The standard ones don't have that. Um, looks like we have, well, here's our wrenches for adjustment and an Allen head. An Allen wrench, yep, that's to adjust our camber. So they give you those, very nice. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at the front one here. Well, we're going to be installing these here almost right away. So, wah. there we go. There is the front one. Uh, that's how you can tell the production date. May of 2020. That's a little sticker on the bottom. Um, they will have a sticker that states that are 03 to 05 SRT4 on them. This is the front, and that's the camber plate on there also, so you can see for adjustment there. Very nice. Very nice. All brand new. Man. These are definitely going to be pretty nice to get installed onto the car. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is what I'm actually taking off of the car is a set of the STs. Well, it looks like they give you give you two spare oh if that isn't nice because I've known I've known a lot of these to strip out on some of the coilovers over the years that I've had so it's kind of cool to find those two down in the box let's hope that they are not poor anywhere good all right so what we got is let's get that out of the way this is a front 
all right and this is front <clears throat> so you can see the difference uh, in what each coil offers um, these are supposed to offer uh, if I read it right that it's like a nicer smoother ride um, you know uh, honestly uh, like a strut is a larger a larger unit so it can dissipate the heat and stuff a lot better than like a standard coil such as these okay um, the two main things that are different between these two are you can adjust the height of the car with the lower part here this one you cannot all right these are pretty much set at a height uh, of where they are you can turn the spring uh, adjustment up and put more preload on the spring which will help raise the car a little bit or hold it at its top height um, this one here does have more adjustment for a preload on your spring to tighten that up too to take the bounce out and make it more stiff all right now when you come up to the top the bc's offer a camber plate so you can adjust the tilt in or out with the height of the vehicle these retain the stock style top hats which are good because of what they offer um it's a nice strong unit there's not going to be any issues with that <clears throat> so those are the main two main two things there let's see what we got down here all right um the st is slotted on the lower bracket in comparison to the bc um and i'm thinking this look at that look at the thickness of this in comparison to this this is a whole lot more heavy duty down here at the bottom in comparison to these i've seen the bc's on cars and the bodies would stay okay but these here would actually bend which is good because then you wouldn't damage the rest of this and this part is available to be purchased separately from bc to be able to mount the coil back up and they're all pretty much the same lowers on all of the coils let's make sure i'm not lying here and grab a back one out and the back one is different so anyway they're different both front are the same the rears are different for each side so that was a side-by-side -side comparison with a front from each brand let's check out what a rear looks like okay here we go now let's take a look at this now just as like with the front the lower bracket on the bc can be adjusted for height of the vehicle this one is not an option okay um, it also has a larger spring for more travel for better ride quality over the bc coil but if you want to raise this up you have to adjust it by the spring pressure here it has the little helper spring these are actually they're pretty loose um, this car was sitting quite low in the rear now i opted for the br kit with the camber plates for adjustment on the top these still retain the stock rear uh strut tops um like i said they are good they work really well they isolate the coil or the, the coil from the car or the strut for vibration because they have rubber in the top now let's take a look at this let's flip this on its side and take a look at what we have here now even though this is still slotted a little bit the sts are slotted a lot more now if you take notice to the perch on this side it has a larger side here on the one side for the rear uh, end link this one has a nice really solid plate the whole way around and it is welded nicely let's take a look this way here okay now if you look this is still thinner than this in comparison to the front but the front 
is a lot thicker diameter where it mounts on to the knuckle. Ooh, man, that's a lot of stuff. So, like I said, I really did want to see how these road uh, ride quality was on these. Um, they are going into a friend's car, so I'll probably get a chance to see what they're like riding on. Um, I've had a bunch of stuff with the BCs. I have installed a lot of those. Um, my other car has these. I've installed them many years ago. I did a full install video on them. Um, I've had some cars with some racelands. I've pulled them off. Uh, the teen coilovers. Um, racelands ride really rough. They offer very little adjustment. Um, the BCs are a better ride. Uh, they offer more adjustment. And that was like one of the biggest things that I did not touch off on is you can adjust how soft or how hard you want the compression on the, the coil to be in the dampening, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, it's, I think it's like 15 or 20 clicks. It's a bunch. I usually turn it all to one way and then I back it off about five or six. I don't know if it's picking it up hear the clicking so that's what I that's what I do with those um, you know once you're driving the car you'll know there's a lot more adjustment it's something you can play with to get it to where you want but overall this is pretty much just supposed to be an unboxing of the BC coilovers uh, with the camber plates the R series in comparison uh, I just figured since I had the ST sitting here I would just do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, in case someone wanted to look at those also. So let's get this uh, <clears throat> Let's get a couple of these laid out here so we can get a fancy thumbnail All right There we go All right, um The video that's coming up next is going to be removing the STs um, and the install of the BC coilovers onto the orange. Uh, man, I'm not, I still don't have a name for this. Don't get me wrong, it says my Skittle on the front, but that was someone else's touch. So I'm not quite sure what I want to call this car yet. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, whew, I don't know killer machine it could be anything it doesn't really have to have orange in the in the in the name um man but this thing's really going to turn out nice so i'll see you in the next video when we're getting the bcs actually installed